You call me crazy, but I'm not gonna play the game anymore. You know what? If it costs me my job, so be it. You know, at least I'll know I lost it doing the right thing. You know what? You are more like Teresa than I think you even know. I am. What's that supposed to mean? I mean, what you're saying. It sounds great, but don't you think it's kind of like Teresa and her dreams? A little unrealistic? I mean, the cranes are so powerful in this town. So just because they're holding all the cards, we're supposed to lay down and let the cranes walk all over us? Well... You ought to know it better than anybody that the fight's worth it, Whitney. Why me? Come on, let's get real here. I mean, your folks have done great. They're African-Americans who have made it. And my parents have worked very hard for what they have. You got it. They've worked hard, and so have their parents and their parents before them, just like my people. And they fought battles that no one thought they had a chance in hell of winning. Because if they knew that discrimination, whether it's based on color or class, is dead wrong. Now, I'm sure it wasn't easy for them. No, it still isn't. But worthwhile things, like true justice for all, never are. Now that's why I gotta take a stand. Now I know why Teresa looks up to you so much. Or maybe it's just like you said. I'm as big a dreamer in my own way as Teresa is in hers. Well, now I'm really late. Tell Teresa I'll talk to her tomorrow. I'm gonna make it my business to make sure that she doesn't talk to Ethan Crane and that family anymore. Can I at least warn her about how mad you are? Sure. But make sure you tell her it's because I love her so much. I won't stand by and watch anyone hurt my sister. Especially if they have the last name of Crane.